Okay. Hello, dude. Here is a video that I'm gonna explain about your rolling skateboard. You got your average skateboard there, right? Your oh, maybe what the deal with this? All that good stuff, right? Well, here we're gonna explain that you're gonna need this a lot more bigger than the current one that you get from the standard skateboard. Because let's face it, the feet are going here and here. And hopefully, the video can see a lot more down. There we go. You can see your feet are going here and here. That's exactly what the fans would need. So you can't do that. You need this board to be a lot longer. I would say about from here to here. And that's about probably two boards of this. Because you want the fans to be on the ends of the board where your feet will not be touching and then you want your middle fan <clears throat> so that you'll gain a uh, pure lift on both of the ends and in the middle and you'll go now um what I was talking about double board is that you're gonna want this this is a plain wooden board, correct? Well, you're not going to want wood because, of course, it's going to break. But this is pretty much the average thickness that you're going to want. And then, what I was mean by double board, you're going to want another board like this. About this thick of uh, space in between the board. Because right here, all in here, in this plain space with attachments like uh, walls, like a building, you're going to want your fan systems, like your brushless motors. This is the average size of your brushless motor. You're going to want to put that here and such forth on those three endpoints. Two endpoints and one middle point. So you're gonna put your brushless motor like this. Say this is one brushless motor. You're gonna put one here, one, one. About like pretty much probably six, seven, nine brushless motors with high powered uh, batteries. And that way, in that entire space that you have here, you'll also have more than enough space to put your battery packs that you're going to want. And you'll be able to distribute out your weight instead of putting everything, all your backpack, all your um, motors and everything that you want to blow out from the two ends, all in the middle instead of in the back because let's face it when you're going backwards you're going to be like this so you want clear weight distribution distribution when you're standing on the board you're going that way you're building go like that and such and also with the motor thing like that, you'll be able to basically yeah, some weird pajamas. Basically, click with your feet if you're going. You'll just be like click, click, click with a little small stepper on the back to control your speed while you have full. Training ability right here with your front foot. So, and the foot pedals won't be that much weight. Plus, we can add more weight inside up here in the front. 
distribute weight in the back. That way, with all this thickness inside, you'll have plenty of space to put all of your motors like this in here and you'll have big enough fans you want to cut out probably be a bit more thicker than the size of this because this is pretty small you probably want the board to be round like that thick that long from side to side so you can have bigger fans or propellers try to say <clears throat> and on the top and the bottom you're going to have to cut out a huge circle and put like a fence like a barbed um, vent fence on the top and bottom so when you're flying you're not going to have you're not going to accidentally step in the fan and on the bottom, you're not accidentally going to land on the bottom of the fan. And have, or land onto a rock that's going to go <laughs> and all that crap. And um, this is a 540 motor, if you were looking into my brushless motors. Let me get my little tiny buggy that I have somewhere in here. <clears throat> this is my buggy <clears throat> and this is the motor for the buggy right here it's, in the, it's already in so you can see that this motor right here is a lot smaller than this big sucker but in size <clears throat> it's still still small enough to fit around six it's small enough to fit like enough of these motors they are pretty lightweight made of aluminum uh. <clears throat> and yeah my mom screaming at some idiot in the background and you'll be able to place them as such but you're not going to want to place them directly onto the board <clears throat> because then you won't have any be able, you won't have any movement to stabilize yourself. Say if you're you can't get on the board, the board is flowing like this, okay? You just move like that, it's just gonna go It's gonna start flying your board will hover, it'll it probably lift and go like this, but it'll go whoosh it'll move in any direction it wishes. Because you're just having to lift off. So, your motors want to thin sideways. And that way you'll have one motor going this, this way, and one motor going this way, and that will counteract. And then the other motor will just spray down. Or, two motors will go this way, and then the other motor will go that way. That way you'll be able to have pure lift like this. Like a helicopter. Counteract <clears throat> the spin that you may get if you counteract one motor going that way and one motor going this way. You'll have a spin. So you want three motors to counteract it. <clears throat> and that way you also want to have it so your motors can go all forwards. And because Let's face it, when you lean forwards, you're just not going to do anything. You're barely going to go whoosh. So, you want something to actually kick your motors. You want to kick your motors to go forward slightly so you actually can get more speed and more lift power. 
because let's face it, when you want to go forwards, you gotta get more gas, right? <clears throat> so that way you'll be able to go. Whoosh. And I'm not talking about any hovercraft type of type of motor system that has that little rubber seal on the top. And you're not just gonna be able to get a motor that's gonna go like this, like right above the air. You want lift like this. You want huge amount of lift, not just some puny little lift like this. And be like, okay, yeah, I'm here for the boys. Come on. So, aluminum, a lot of those brushless motors, and some of the highest powered, uh, largest ampage you can get from, uh, light codes, which would be, uh, yeah. Now, probably this size, a bit thicker. Like that big thick and to be able to place it probably about like three on each area. <clears throat> that way you'll be able to get long enough battery life, around like forty three minutes. If you great enough then you can get ten. And then all you need to worry about is how much lift you're going to be weighing on yourself because I know it will probably do enough to lift the entire board and with aluminum it will probably weigh only the same exact stuff as this with everything on board anyways I gotta put this back in the garage that's the video peace out Mm-hmm.